This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV. We're in the Tower Hotel here for the Prize Fighter Primo Heavyweights UK versus USA fighting on our team, Mr. Michael Sprott. What's happening, Michael? Yeah, not much, man. Just um, just getting prepared the last few days uh, for this uh, fight, international prize fighter. International prize fighter, a tournament you know very well. You've won the tournament, so just to talk about the level of opposition in their corner, if you like. Obviously, James Stoney being the the lead name, if you like. Uh, Brian Minto, Jason Gavin, and Damon Willis. What do you think about that opposition, first of all? Um, but, you know, I know Brian Minto is quite tough. Um, you know, I was, I was saying box a friend of mine, Luan Krasniki, um, for well, some years back. But he was uh, he's quite tough, quite game. And you know, obviously, what Jason Gavin is quite he's quite a tough character. And um, there, there the bloke. Does Damien say? Damien? Damien Willis, yeah, I, think, I, don't, I don't know much about him, but um, yeah, it's, it's a good lineup. It's, a, it's a quite, quite a tough lineup. Um, your last few fights, you've had a few defeats in them fights, and I think it was you had to win the last but one, didn't you? Was that your you had, out in was it Swiss oh, in, in Germany? In Germany. Yeah, when I beat, um, Sorry, Gerber, Gerber, yeah. yeah. So w what's happening with your career at the minute? Are you still focused as you was, or are you? Getting through. What, 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 how's your mindset about going into the ring now? Um, my, my, my mindset is obviously you know to do well and stuff in the ring. But you know, at the moment, my career's a bit here, there, here. So it is a bit um, just they seem what's out there, what, what big fights can get out there at the moment. Um, but nothing. I mean, my last fight, I, I lost in Switzerland. I got stopped in the first round. Just, uh, just. Sorry, that was the fight I was actually talking about. Yeah, because yeah, the, the fight yeah. in Switzerland you had. Because I said. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, I mean, just just got caught, just one of those things. But um, you know, I'm I just I was trying to trying to um, do well in in this tournament and try and get back up there somehow or another. Is it, Mike, it was a case of like you just you want to fight, so you go where the fights are, and it's what you've been doing, how you've been earning your living over the years. So you just want to keep doing that, and if you're fit and healthy to do it, then why not? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but you know. Times on my side, obviously, I'm like, I'll be 39 in January, so it may be a couple more years, or maybe a year and a half, depends, and that'll probably be enough for me, yeah, because obviously I want to go into bigger things as outside of me. Yeah. Anything you can let us in into? No, I mean, like, I, I want to be obviously a personal fitness trainer. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm into the fitness thing, so that's, that's what I'm, that's what I want to do eventually. Be hair models, Mr. Sprock, couldn't you? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that film. Coming to America, you ever seen it? Yeah. Coming yeah, to America, yeah. you could model that soul glow because it's shining. <laughs> you, you, the curls are yeah, shining right there. This is natural, mate. This is natural. Natural hair. Yeah. 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 It's just, just natural. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Listen, I gotta ask you, right? Yeah. I've been meaning to ask you. I haven't really spoke to you. What happened? What happened with that ref? <laughs> you lost it that night, or you lost it? What What happened? What was going through your head? You, you know what? It was a case of like I've been robbed in Germany a lot of times, a few times in my career, and. Um, you know, they're always like always trying to take points of view and you know they try to cheat you one way or another. So you know, when he when the referee stopped it, you know, when I was right to carry on, you know, to me enough was enough was enough. I thought, you know what, I've had enough of this and I just I just saw red. That's all I could that's all I can remember. Felt bad afterwards, but at the time What was your ban for that then for doing that? I got three months banned and I think eight hundred and fifty pound fine. Yeah. So that's it. I thought it was got off quite lightly. I thought, <laughs> yeah, I mean, good. <laughs> listen, don't want to see you get back. But listen, the moment of rage it happens, and yeah. But when I watched it, I thought I was just going, well, "What is Michael doing? What is he doing? What is he doing?" <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I just saw red. I, I didn't mean it. I, I apologise afterwards, but at the time, it's just I was just I was so angry, you know. Just, but why are they doing this to me? Why? I could I could have carried on. It was towards the end of the round. You know, if, we, if I came back the next round and he dropped me again or laid into me and I went for another fight, then I can't understand. But at least give me a chance, you know. Because I was winning the fight as well, I guess they're a hot prospect. They 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 do anything to try and uh, try and pull the fight away from you. You've got, um, like I said, a lot of your fights are, are abroad. Do you struggle to find fights in the UK with like under UK promoters and even UK heavyweights? It's difficult for you. Um, I, I, I don't be difficult. I mean, it's just where the fights are. I mean. I'm just getting offered more fights in Germany than I'm over here, over here, so I have got to go where 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 the, where the where the work is. So that's why I've always um fighting in Germany or, or around Europe. That's the only thing that um, happened in sparring. Then obviously sparring with the Klitsch goes and um, Povetkin and people like that. Really, I've, I've been offered um, work over there, so I just go.
You were sparring with you were sparring with Tyson Fury out in Belgium as well, wasn't you? I was in there for a week, yeah, because I, I couldn't do no more than a week because the kids were on holiday. And I had to get back, but yeah, I was there for a week, which was which was quite good. I know it was, it was all right. Yeah, but it's never a dull moment in a training camp with Mr. Fury. So no, he's, he's good. He's good. He's, he's a nice lad. Actually, no, I like him. Yeah. Tip him to beat David Hay. No You're on the spot now. I, I, I'm sat on a wall. I'm sat on a wall. I'm just. I'll play. I say. That's what I say. <laughs> Who's gonna win? I don't know. Okay. This. This is what I say. I go. Well, one minute I think Hay, then I think Fury. So what one is it? Yeah. <laughs> Make it that what you want. Yeah. I just. I. I'll set a wall for that one. But um. Yeah, back on my, I, I think I knew he would win, but I play it safe. Yeah, <laughs> with more in the title, play it safe. But um, tell you win prize far again. Where do you think realistically that that could take you? Where do you want to? Where do you want to go? What would you be happy with retiring with? Or well, fighting, fighting, winning a Klitschko for a football title. Yeah. Definitely, I'll be happy with that. And then I, I kiss this walk goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, but being realistically. Um, I don't know what would happen if I win it because obviously I won the English prize fight and nothing happened there. Obviously I lost to the um, Thai Fields and international one last time, so I'm not really sure what it would um, what it would give me option wise. Have to have to um, have to have to wait and see. Right, well, listen, it's an interesting tournament. Like I said, it's a good mix with the UK's uh, experience in yourself and near novices like Mr. Little over there. But um, listen, as long as. UK comes victorious. I'm sure people are happy, but you'll be happy if you won it, obviously. So, best of luck to you. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to uh, an explosive heavyweight night on Thursday. Oh, cheers, mate. And uh, thanks for everyone. Hope everyone shows up and can show great support. Cheers. Right. Don't push no refs on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. He's sorry. He's sorry. This is Coogan Cassius with Michael Sprott here for IFL TV. Thank you very much.